what's going on guys Austin Nurcho here and so we just got done seeing Avengers Infinity War and I gotta say what a movie um, but to start up first obviously we're gonna do non-spoilers first and then spoilers afterwards um, I don't know if this will be too long because there's so much to go into that I don't want to go into all the little details and everything but um, as I said we'll do non-spoilers first so to start with that I would say if you haven't went and seen the movie by the time of watching this video you've got to go see it because this movie has potentially a bunch of spoilers in it that if you're picky about spoilers and stuff like that could get ruined for you and you'll be really mad about them too so definitely go see this movie you've got to see it in theaters if you don't want to worry about if you are worried about spoilers stuff you have to go see it and as soon as possible too because if you find out stuff that you don't actually get to see you'll be very disappointed and everything so go see the movie that's all I gotta say about that so to go over kind of some of the movie, again, non-spoilers, um, the cast was excellent, of course, having the giant cast of all the uh, Avengers characters and all the extended Marvel Universe characters coming into this together to fight against the bad guy Thanos, as you, I would assume, know by the trailers and everything. Um, but so seeing all the characters come together just made this movie absolutely amazing. It's what I loved or liked about Justice League movie. That was like the one thing I did like about that movie was getting to see all the characters come together on screen and, you know, fight a bad guy. But this time, obviously, we've seen two Avengers movies so far and seen a lot of the people already. But then we got added additional characters into there that have not been at yet seen in the Avengers movies as a team just in their individual things. So getting to see them added into it as well I like that a lot and um, so then so then we of course so all the individual characters I don't want to go into every single one of them because there are so many of them that I don't want to do it all uh, but we'll go talk about Thanos. Thanos was I actually really enjoyed it. I was worried about him. I hate the way he looks though. As the movie went on, I didn't mind it as much, but like seeing the toys and uh, figures and stuff and pictures of him, I hated the way he looks because he didn't look enough like his original character outfit. But over the movie, I kind of started to enjoy it. And I guess kind of see why they did it so you get more personality and range out of his face because, you know, obviously he's a CG character, but they did, I assume, like face mapping or something with Josh Brolin for the character. And so they allowed to get more details into his face for emotions and everything. Uh, then we had his Black Order, I think it's called, his group of people, um, the four characters four yeah characters and I actually enjoyed them I really enjoyed Ebony Maw which is like the wizard type ver or character I really enjoyed him um, and then the others you didn't really get to see as much there was a big giant guy called Obsidian he was just the big muscle guy you didn't really get to see much him or the, the two you really didn't see a whole lot of was Proxima Midnight and what was the other one Corvinus Glaive I think Corvus Glaive I or think Corvus yeah um, yeah those two you didn't really get to see a whole lot of they pretty much just kept doing the same parts over the, the two parts you see saw them. They just did the same thing over again. So there wasn't it new anything new with them. Um, but I really did like them, and unfortunately, what happens or whatever in the movie. But I really like them. Um, what else characters? We've got the Guardians finally meeting up with the Avengers. Yeah, so getting the teams up together. So yeah, we have the original Avengers group, or the two Avengers group, the originals, and the additional one from Age of Ultron. The characters we get in there, like Scarlet Witch, Vision, um, whatever the other characters that we got in there. And then we get added into uh, Doctor Strange, which I really like that, because I really enjoy Doctor Strange's character. I don't think the movie was, like, the best, but I really like him as a character and all his powers and stuff he has. And then we got, of course, Spider-Man thrown in there, which was awesome. And then, of course, the Guardians of the Galaxy, which was, to me, some of the better parts of the movie, the parts that involve the different Guardians characters. Because, the, unfortunately, they do split them up. Like, you know, there's, like, ten different story that I don't know exactly how many, but, like, ten different storylines going on at one point, which is what I really like that's what I like uh, with movies like uh, uh, Lord of the Rings back in the day I think forget which one it was the third second or third one whatever where they had split up and so you had like all these different stories going on at one time but with these every story had something good going on it was action-packed that's saying there's not a lot of downtime at all in this movie like parts that are just people talking it's you know very important storyline stuff and then everything else is just action so from beginning to end it's nothing but action there is a very, very end credit scene. There's not a mid credit as there usually is, you know, before when they roll the credits for all the actors and stuff. Then they usually do a mid credit and then one at the very end. There's just one at the very end. So you will want to stick around for that because, of course, that just sets up stuff for the future and we get to see some other people back again. Um, so you won't want to do that. 
Um, the ending, I don't, it's a weird ending. Like, it fits the movie, like, the, the tone of the movie. It kind of seems to fit in with it, but it's kind of confusing, and you don't know what's going to happen, which we'll talk about in spoilers. But I don't know, it's just hard to figure out what they're going to do next with the movie. Um, so another part of the movie, um, there is a lot of comedy in the movie, so as usual with, or not a lot, actually it is kind of a lot it seems like. Um, so as with the Marvel movies, um, there is uh, comedy thrown in there. I thought it was really good, because like even when you get maybe some darker scenes, they throw in some comedy that makes you laugh, but then immediately goes back to the darkness. So it's not something, you know, like making a joke out of the whole movie and stuff, but it's really good comedy spread throughout, and it's just like good slapstick comedy. And of course, most of the source from that comes from the Guardians of the Galaxy characters, as you expect with their movie and everything. So I really did enjoy that part of the comedy that they did throw in there um, for the darker movie. And then the last thing, I did like the like locations they chose. So they chose a bunch of different locations. So of course, we got like New York, and we did go back to Wakanda, which you, you saw that in the trailers and stuff. Then you got all these other new planets that are thrown in there, and we returned to some old planets and stuff, or at least one old planet. And so it's cool to see the different visions. You're not just seeing the same scene or like Earth throughout the whole movie. It's spread out throughout the galaxy, which is what this whole thing should be about. And I really enjoyed that as well. So that's going to be it for the non-spoiler section. Now we're going into spoilers. So I hope you've seen the movie by now or you're just an evil person and want to ruin the movie for yourself. So we're going to get into spoilers now. What the hell? All these characters have died. That's what I'm talking about when I don't know what's going on with what they're going to be doing with the future of the movies. I have a theory that I talked to, you know, my brother about and stuff. Uh, but I don't know if that's true or anything's going to happen to it. But it's like... They have all these characters and they just, you know, which it makes sense as it should for this movie. You know, I expected characters that I expect, you know, maybe around five characters or something and, you know, some to be lesser characters and then maybe one or two, like, more main characters. But we didn't really... I mean, I guess we did kind of get that, but it's kind of hard to des to decide that out and stuff, obviously, with all the different characters that died. Because, so part of my theory was that they are all the characters still left or at least almost all of them are the original cast members and so these are the people that you know outside the movies their contracts are coming up they're not going to be doing many more movies if any at all and so i expect you know the characters then into the next part of the movie that whatever they're calling it, avengers whatever um that they're going to be the ones fighting thanos and some of them are going to die off or they're going to you know, this is going to cause them to stop being their character or whatever. I like, especially like, say Captain America survives in the end, you know, he'll just become Steve Rogers and just work with S.H.I.E.L.D. or whatever co sort of corporation, no longer being Captain America, that's if he survives. But other characters I can see, like, especially Tony Stark, I could see dying, you know, he almost died in this movie, and I thought he was dead, and I was like, yes, they are killing him off, but then he lived or whatever. Um, but then I expect them to, like, when they finally defeat Thanos, to destroy the gauntlet or do something, somebody gets control of the gauntlet and is able to reverse time and stuff and bring all those characters back. And then that's going to be our future of the MCU movies is with these new characters, or with the characters that all died. And so that's why, you know, they're not going to be in the next part because they're, you know, dead already. But it spares them from dying in the future is my whole thing. It gets them out of the way to keep them safe. But then it's going to bring them back in at the very end. But that's just a prediction I'm making. I doubt it's going to be true or you never know. Um, but I, yeah, I just can't believe they kill off all those characters. Yeah, I thought it was really weird how they... You mentioned they killed off all the characters. I yeah. thought it was extremely weird that they killed off the Black Order the way they did. Oh, yeah. Because they were all so powerful... But yet they killed them all off. So really the only villain you have left is Thanos. Thanos yeah. yeah, I really, like I said, I like the Black Order a lot. And I was, I you know, expected one or two of them to die. You know, because that's just, they, Avengers have to get some fight put into it. But then they just pretty much kill all of them. Which they did, each of them put up a fight. I mean, the, the two that I said didn't do much. Both times they just kind of got beat up the same way, but the other two um, did put up much of a much bigger fight um, against the, our heroes and everything. Part that annoyed me the most about the Black Order getting killed off was I don't know Obsidian Call or whatever they called him in the movie. He got his arm chopped off oh, in yeah. one part. 
but yet when they reintroduced him into the film, he had like a mechanical robotic arm. So why would you put that much effort into that detail if you were just going to kill him back off again? I don't know. I don't know what though. I mean, obviously just to keep him to be able to fight in the in battle, I guess would be the whole point. But other than that, I don't know what their whole plan was. I mean, it's like the Thor thing really bothered me. The thing with the eye, you know, in Ragnarok, he lost the eye, and I thought he was just gonna be Thor with the eye patch now. And then he just rock or yeah, Rocket gives him an eye, and he wears it, so he's back to two eyes now. And I'm like, what was the whole point of having him lose the eye? It didn't make any sense to me. Which but, that scene right there had some of the comedy that we were talking yeah. about. Because Rocket gives him this, like, cybernetic eye that he stole off someone. And as Thor is, like, placing it in his eye socket, Rocket saying that he had to smuggle it out his butt. Yeah, his butt, yeah. But right as he gets ready to say the more adult word for butt, a alarm goes off on the ship and, like, bleeps that word out. But yeah, scenes like that, the Thor whole part, I really enjoyed that part of the movie. Then, of course, we had the group of um, Star Lord, or in, it turned out to be Star Lord, Iron Man, Spider Man, Doctor Strange. I really like that whole grouping of their attack on Thanos. And then you had the whole On Earth group that was there fighting against, you know, taking Vision to Wakanda to protect him. And um, I just liked, like I said, the whole, like, separations of all the team, but still working together um, in those different groups. And then, of course, like I said, we get Thanos, and, of course, the whole movie is him searching for all of the Infinity Stones. He, of course, had um, the red... Uh, no, he had the blue, or the purple one, which he got from Xandar, which I'm... I'm like, Matt, it didn't, like, show Xandar at all, like, you know, that he had attacked and destroyed it, but he just said, you know, I had attacked Xandar or whatever, and he got the um, purple stone, which was the power, I believe. Then he got the um, one from the Tezzeret Loki gave to him, then, of course, we lost Loki. And then, that's, like, was a weird scene, because they said, like, they killed half the Asgardians, but everyone you saw left on the ship was dead, so I don't know what happened to the other people, and what happened to people like Valkyrie and stuff, we don't know, we didn't see them. Korg and Meek, what yeah, happened to them? Korg and Meek, we didn't see them at all, so it's like, I don't know what exactly happened there, you know, it looked like they were all dead to me, so I don't know where the other half went, unless they're, like, entrapped on Thanos' ship or something. And then we um, get sent out to nowhere where Thanos is there getting the whatever the red, the ether stone was. And of course that was a whole twisted reality thing he did there that I thought was really cool. You know, seeing the Guardians attacking him and then it turns out that was all like a fake thing that he had done with that reality stone. And I thought it was really weird that in Thanos' altered reality, since he did get that reality stone, yeah. that he had the Collector. Oh yeah. But then when he alters it back to what really is reality now, you don't see the Collector. Yeah, well, because everything's destroyed and burning. But the Collector and uh, the Grand Master, they're both Eternals. Yeah. They can't die. So I want to know what happens to both of them. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, well, of course, then the whole Loki, which, I mean, makes sense that he could die. Of course, Thor's like, you know, he's died before and stuff so you that kind of puts the stuff is Loki really dead I would probably assume he is but he when he he's dying he mentions things about you'll never be a god or whatever the Thanos that remind me it's like yeah it's like I thought you like couldn't really kill gods it's unless it was like a certain way or something but you never know I don't know how, but the Asgardians yeah. aren't gods well, I don't know. He just said that. I don't know for sure. Um, but that just put that in my mind. It's like, how do you get killing God and stuff like that? Then we got to the, I think it was the Soul Stone, which was the one that everyone was wondering about. That's like the whole thing, this movie, because it's like we know where all the other Infinity Stones are. Where is the Soul Stone? And we got to see where that was. And I thought it was really interesting and cool because I liked they went to this weird planet and then um, they're going up this to this like monument type thing or whatever. First off, the planet is called Vormir. <laughs> Yeah, Voromir, which of course sounds like Lord of the Rings type name, and gives you a lot of Lord of the Rings vibes. Um, but they start, you know, walk up the steps, and then this figure appears that looks like the Grim Raper, or a Ring Wraith, more Lord of the Rings stuff. And he's talking and everything, and then it reveals who it is, and it's um, Red, uh, Red Skull, which I'm like, oh my god, that is so cool. They finally did bring Red Skull back. Well, so did but the it, entire theater. Yeah, and so yeah, the theater, like, you could hear, like, people reacting like crazy when we saw it was Red Skull. But, of course, he's still, like, trapped there, so I assume he's not going to be coming back beyond that. But getting to see him again was really awesome. So he was, like, the protector or some sort of guard type thing for the Soul Stone. 
And so then Thanos ended up killing Gamora there, which was, you know, a surprising death to me. I didn't really expect her to die, but I guess they did that or whatever. So he got the Soul Stone by sacrificing her. But it actually showed that he did actually have love and feelings for her. And that kind of played out through the rest of the movie of his love for um, Gamora. That he was sacrificed her to get all this power that he's trying to get. Um, then that takes us to back, he, back to his home planet of what Titan. Titan, yeah. And... There he they do the whole fight thing and he fights with Doctor Strange and uh, Iron Man and Spider Man and all that and he ends up uh, Doctor Strange ends up giving up these uh, time stone to save uh, Iron Man and stuff and so that's he's got all five of the stones so he's got the sixth one left the Mind Stone I believe it is which of course is the one that was envisioned so then it takes it back to Wakanda where he then fights or does whatever to get the Soul Stone. Um, of course, I like the whole thing of Scarlet Witch trying to blow the thing up, which she actually did. I didn't know if she'd be actually be able to blow up the Mind Stone from Vision, but then it blows it up. It's like, yes, you know, she stopped him. He can't have that stone, so now he can't complete the whole gauntlet. He's still a huge threat with the five stones, but not having that last one keeps him from being able to destroy everything. And so um, he did that, but then he has the time stone, so he just reversed time and then pulled it out of uh, Vision's head and put it in. And then that led to us to the ending where he did the whole snap the finger thing, and half of the world died off, and that's where we lost all of, like I said, our younger heroes that would be the future of the MCU, where they just all kind of withered away into pieces. And then Thanos kind of went into another reality thing where he saw little toddler Gamora whatever when he first picked her up and then he got transported back and then disappeared and it looked like he was in the sh hut that Bucky was living in I don't know if that's what that was or not but so he's like in the gauntlets all destroyed um I don't know why if that's going to be a part of the next thing that the gauntlets now destroyed but he still has the stones I assume that he can use for power he just won't have the gauntlet thing to do or whatever um so that's what's kind of interesting what they're going to be doing in the next movie or the next movies with the characters but i do think this movie may come out next year i don't know exactly when but i know it's not too far away because we only have the characters that i think that weren't in this movie have the movies coming up um but then the next one is the avengers so it's not going to be a big turnaround or anything or a huge wait to see what happens next, and then we're not going to have a whole bunch of movies with these characters that are now dead. Um, so I do like that, so they're not going to do a whole, you know, this was before that happened type thing. I don't like that part. Um, but other than that, I don't know what else to go into. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of stuff to go into. This was definitely a jam-packed movie full of action and storyline and everything, and it's going to be hard to go into everything, but that's um, all the big stuff that I wanted to go into. Let's not forget the end scene. Oh yeah, we're Nick. We got Nick Fury and Agent Hill back again, but of course, then they're affected by the whole loss of half the world people, and then of course we get Nick Fury sending the message out that goes out to Captain Marvel. Um, that she, so I know her movie's coming up, but I don't know what role she's gonna play in the next Avengers movie. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what they do with her and if she's gonna be the savior of the galaxy or if she's just a part to help fight with Thanos. I don't know for sure, but it's um, going to be interesting to see what they do in the future. So that's our review of Avengers. Like I said, we didn't go into a whole lot of detail. A whole bunch of stuff left out, but that will be, you know, for you to fill in and know about when you see the movie because you've got to see the movie with all that stuff going on. If you watch this and you just spoiled every, all that stuff for yourself, I don't know why you do that, but you need to see this movie. There's, this is like, it's hard, I want to like exaggerate, be like, this is like the biggest movie of all time. But for the last 10 years, you know, we've had all these superhero movies that have been building up to this. And this is, you know, a major part of the story that goes on right here. And so you really need to see this. So that's going to be it for our review. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let us know in the comments down below what was your opinion on the movie. And don't forget to subscribe to see more movie reviews and all the other videos we do on this channel. And I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.